What's going on, peeps? So, I typically do not make videos like this. I'm typically not much of a drama channel. I try to stay away from it, actually. My content usually dwells into just positive-based stories and stuff that will just motivate the artists and, you know, the fans as well. So, unfortunately, what happened tonight was not based. That's for damn sure. You know Miles ditched his concert in Grand Rapids, just which I was in attendance for, obviously. So, <laughs> I don't blame the organizers. I don't blame his team either. Very ridiculous, really. It just, I need a reason. I need something, please. All right, y'all. So, you know, Miles just responded on his Instagram and he basically said a uh, message to the Grand Rapids uh, blame my manager for the show not happening. According to him, it looks like he didn't have any part in the show. So, was it just not supposed to happen? Like, I'm so. What? What? I, I don't get it. I don't know where to go with that then. I guess it's manager's fault? Like, what? What's, what? All right, y'all. So, you know, Miles has officially responded to me. Bit of an update. I know this video is a bit chaotic, but I'm just trying to figure this out. You know, I'm, I just wanted to know the full backstory of the situation. And, uh, so, you know, Miles, he hit me up on Instagram. I asked him, like, wait, so the show wasn't supposed to happen. And then he said, no, bro, my manager be lying. Sorry for that. So, apparently the show was not supposed to happen. And I wish I knew this ahead of time, obviously. And so, yeah, that's just very unfortunate. And so, I asked him, like, okay, so the manager is, like, the Michael Myers guy. Also, will anyone be getting refunds? And so, he hasn't responded to that yet. So, we're just going to see what happens, all right? So, guys, do not go hate on you know Miles. Clearly, this is a big misunderstanding that neither party were informed about. So, that's unfortunate. Like, we had to wait, like, one hour just for the show to actually kind of start. And the openers did the best they could to, you know, hype everyone up and get everyone going. But I could tell that, like, there was something that just wasn't right, you know? Like, I, there were people that were just kind of hesitant. Like, the DJ, Michael Myers, Dave, he's kind of, like, their manager and such. Like, he was kind of going off and on stage. And he looked just very stressed. And we were just like, hey, what's going on with the DJ, bro? What's going on? Like, and then once we realized why he was probably doing that, that's when we understand, oh yeah, it, it looks like the dude's just stressed because, you know, Miles isn't in the freaking building. So yeah, I don't want to get too angry. And I was just hoping to have a fun night. And instead, uh, you know, this happens. So this is kind of what the vlog was supposed to be. I didn't expect it to go like this. But, you know, this is going to be like some of the clips and um, stuff that happened. What I hope the night could have been. And uh, the aftermath, I guess you could say. So, yeah, um, here it is. All right, boys. <laughs> we are officially at the intersection. And uh, your boys got the picture. Uh, hopefully, you know, this goes well. Hopefully the plan is great and incredible so i yeah, just got in the parking lot um, we're on our way because I, I don't think they allow these type of cameras in the venue unfortunately so i have to go with my phone so i don't know hopefully that goes all right at least so yeah i'm gonna see y'all in a bit so basically my whole plan was to bring this picture of kai sanat having a very bad haircut and bring it to the concert and basically get the attention of you know miles and he'll bring me on stage and we'll just have like a funny moment where we play you know miles like a song called kai sanat barber because they have like a notorious beef kind of Alright y'all, so we just arrived at Walgreens and I'm here to pick up the picture frame and the Kai Sinat bald <laughs> picture and uh, hopefully it fits and the people in there don't think I'm a weirdo, which will probably happen. <laughs> Alright y'all, so we got it. He will be so mad if he ends up seeing it. Alright, so yeah, this is the photo frame. Um, we can pretty much replace that, but uh, the real, real star of the show here is... Uh... <laughs> there we see it. <laughs> okay. We're gonna fit this right in. All right, y'all. <laughs> okay, it's, it's a bit blurry because of the like trees and stuff, but yeah, that's there it is. <laughs> oh my gosh, she's gonna love this, bro. I hope I'm able to figure this out. This will be absolutely hilarious if all goes well. All right, y'all. So your boy has officially made it to the uh, stash or the intersection, whatever the hell. I think I'm the first one here with Kyvy Snack, who's like forehead can reflect off the freaking yeah <laughs> i just don't get how i do it how am i the first person at the you know miles show twice bro am i just the most dedicated you know miles stand out there bro like this is ridiculous <laughs> like oh my gosh man he he better let me on stage for this bro <laughs> i only got here like two hours early y'all i don't even know so unfortunately boys your boy couldn't bring in the glass you know the i couldn't bring in the frame and such 
but it could bring in the picture still. Let's go. <laughs> Thank you to the security guard that reminded me. And I'm still first in line, lovely. <laughs> like, man, I wish I could contact you know Miles directly right now. But unfortunately, his main Instagram that he was following me on got completely nuked, bro. Like, what the heck, what did he do? He just, he just did a bunch of trolling, bro. Like, why y'all mad Instagram? Ban like the actual bad people on the app, not some random meme rapper, you idiots. So it's about an hour before the show and where is everybody? Like, bro, I'm still the only one here. What, what, did you know my fall off or something? Did I miss something? Like what the heck is going on, bro? Like I know he pretended to quit on like uh, social media and stuff, but we all know that's not happening. This guy literally got a co-sign from Kanye West. Are you kidding me? His children. He's on a song with his children. What is going on, bro? Man, th this is ridiculous. Something ain't right. Yo, is that them over there, bro? Cause I don't know, there's a van there. They just all came out of it. Not sure what's going on, but if that's them, that'd be dope. What's up? I'm here for the show. I'm here for the show. Oh, okay, cool. Man. Yes. Well, here, just hang tight. We're loading in right now. Absolutely. Okay. Awesome. Good to see y'all. So eventually people did show up and we were able to get into the venue at around 7 o'clock and we were just kind of all, you know, getting ready to get things started. However, there was a clear delay. We had to wait there for about an hour for the openers to come out. To the shock of no one, Miles and the crew are late. Go figure. Apparently, you know Miles is running late. Go figure. I know, bro. It's so Damn. Yeah, man. Well, great. well, at least I ended up getting on stage. <laughs> so I feel like I owe y'all an exclamation here. So unfortunately, you know, Miles has decided to ditch out on the show. And look, I, I expect like this sort of behavior from rappers in general, but like, you know, Miles, man, like, especially like in like his home state, like I just, I, I expected to be just treated better than this. Like it, it sucks. Cause like, obviously I made like two videos on the dude. Like I've met him. He follows me or he follows me on Instagram. Technically his account was banned, but like, what? This just makes no sense. I just wanted, I want a reason why he can't be here. Like I know tour life is very rough and stuff, but I just, I don't even know, man. Like, I don't even know if I want my money back or an apology, bro. Like, this is just ridiculous. I've been to several concerts, y'all, and this has never happened before. And um, I definitely respect the hell out of the openers for trying to turn up either way and just, you know, just give us their all, really, you know? They're... I actually talked to a few of them about it, and uh, they were pretty bummed, too. So, yeah, that's unfortunate, man. Like, I know, you know, Miles is a bit of a joke rapper, but it's like, there's, there should still be some sort of respect for your fans, right? And so, yeah, this was a massive bummer. Obviously, it took some time out of my, you know, day to go to Grand Rapids, drive an hour here to just do this, and uh, this is how it ends. <laughs> like, come on, man. Like, I was, like, I was so excited, man. Like, I brought this. Like, I was hoping to turn up with him on stage and stuff. Like, I'm not going to be at the Detroit show if that's even going to happen at this point. Like, yeah, they don't even know if it's, the rest of the tour is going to even happen at this point. And I was really rooting for the guy, man. Like, he got his Kanye co-sign. It seemed like he was doing well, and all he had to do was just show up to the shows, man. Like, I just don't get it. Like, what, what happened? How, why, man? I don't get this. Like, and um, I hope the rest of us get somewhat of our money back for this because you know the reason we came to this show and drove up all the way was because of you know you know miles and stuff so i'm hoping we can get at least half half off you know yeah just get good like 
$25 back, you know, that's, that'd be enough for gas. <laughs> that'd be enough, man. Like I'm glad I didn't buy like a meet and greet this time. Cause man, bro, I'd, I'd feel so ripped off if I had a meet and greet for this man. Like, oh my gosh. But like, you know, then again, it was just $50, which you know, it's just, it's fine. But I just want, you know, Miles to just come out and explain why he couldn't be here. I've known this guy since like 2021, not personally, but I've known of his existence and the fact that it's come to this where you know he's doing shows now and stuff and like like i was really excited for him like i was genuinely excited for him i know his music might not be the greatest thing in the world but man bro i'm still just sitting here like i just feel kind of hurt by it really but i don't know should i feel hurt like then again it's like i know it sounds parasocial as hell but it's like dude i paid money for this i made time for this oh it's just a waste of energy bro like i got in a literal accident when i was driving here bro and after getting that sorted out bro like i still went i still went to the show because i was expecting to have fun and so this man i know i'm just yapping like at this point like but i'm just so disappointed really like i i don't even know if i'm mad i'm just very disappointed and <sighs> do better y'all and i just feel like rap in general just needs to do better with their fans in general bro like this is not how you should just treat people bro like these people came out and they care for you and so i don't know it's getting let down like this it's it really sucks so I don't really know where to go from here, but if this is the end, and I don't even know if this video's gonna go to freaking YouTube, man. I'm just so disappointed. Like, what, what do I do with this? Do we just upload this, what, like this? Like, ah, man, I could I could have had like something completely different out, but no, it's just, this is the end, so. I'm sorry if you guys are disappointed by this vlog. There is really not much I could do personally. So I appreciate y'all for watching and uh, <laughs> hearing my venting for five minutes, but yeah, I appreciate y'all. I hope you enjoyed the video somehow. And if not, uh, I guess it is what it is, bro. But yeah, I'm going to see y'all in the next one. I'm not sure what's going to happen next, truly. But is that gunshot? I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared. Uh, I'm going to see y'all in the next one. Make sure to love all. Peace. Uh, uh, uh.